Hello, I'd like to provide some feedback and build on the great ideas you posted for this week. I noticed that four of our classmates are actually in new jobs. So I would say a lot of what you're writing is about is about change. Um, one of our friends commented that it was terrifying to leave the comfort zone. And this is a normal feature for anybody and everybody. But you know what? If you stay in your comfort zone, you will always get what you always got. The expression I like is, if you always do what you always did, you will always get what you always got. Another colleague commented that rarely does anyone today stay in the same job for the rest of their life. Now, I believe that. But when I came to Fort Hayes State University four years ago, my students said, Dr. Ward, you don't understand Midwestern values. We're hard workers, we get hired, and we stay in the same job our entire lives. I've noticed that that's changed over the last four years, and some folks are realizing that they will be changing jobs as millennials four to six times in their careers. Interestingly, my neighbor who works on at Ford and works on my car has been raised in Hayes High School and College, and he's decided for the first time to uproot his family and move to Arizona because he had a better job opportunity. That, to me, is a norm. Finally, an individual commented that she felt that there was no room for growth in her company. And I think that's something you have to uh, build on and consider. Uh, I left the State Department because I had determined there was no more room for growth. The State Department is like the U.S. military. It's up or out. But the only way you can go up is if somebody retires or dies, literally. What I think is that I chose the textbook because Harvard Business Textbook is about change, organizational change. But I think you can relate it to your personal lives. Another set were people who said they want to expand their skills uh, for a current or future job in their current employer or outside of their current employer. And that is great. That's what I was always striving to do. Uh, one person said, I feel like you may want to broaden your skills or expertise to allow yourself more flexibility for future moves. That's really true. And another individual said they wanted to expand their knowledge in every area to improve their capabilities. And actually, that's why companies like to move people around, or some companies like to move people around horizontally as well as vertically, because it gives you a greater understanding of the different components of your business and the different approaches each component can take. Malcolm Gladwell, the author of Blink, says that it takes or proposes that it takes 10,000 hours to become a master at your skills. And I think one aspect of mastery is moving around. Well, you gave a lot to think about. And I hope this video, as short as it is, summarizing and expanding on your thoughts, has generated even more thoughts. Thank you.